hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to do a full review of this recent purchase i made on amazon now these are alcohol markers which comes in a pack of 48 so the set is quite cheap when we compare it to the other brands available in the market and uh, that's why i wanted to try this out because alcohol markers are a great medium when it comes to coloring and uh, fashion illustrations of course so let me show you what's uh, inside and here you can see all the colors now i like the case which came along it's good to store and carry around so as you can see here guys the body of the markers are in black color and it's color coded so easy to pick the color according to the shade you want and uh, the names are mentioned clearly on the cap of the markers with the number of that particular color so this markers comes with dual tips one is broad chisel another one is a fine one so yeah the broad chisel one is for coloring larger areas where you can use the fine one to outline and cover smaller places so let's try swatching this uh, markers over this papers now here i have two type of papers first one is really thin which i usually use for practicing uh, pencil sketches and uh, as i'm swatching the colors guys you can see these are really vibrant the color payoff is great but yeah it will bleed and uh, transfer to your next sheets so yes if your paper is not thick enough your color is going to bleed now let's try it on the next paper which is very thick it's 300 gsm watercolor sheets so if i'm swatching the colors uh, over this paper let's see it will not bleed because uh, the color is thick and it can absorb your markers and you can create multiple layers and uh, just shade your colors really well so your paper also matters a lot when you're working with this type of mediums i made this handy swatch card of all the colors available in the set and here is a close-up you can see all the colors with the numbers and the names i think the whole palette is uh, good because you have all the necessary colors along with some gray colors as well so the gray colors you can use for the shading purpose i am going to demonstrate the colors in this illustration which i made firstly i will uh, pick the colors according to the color scheme which i'm thinking in my mind so let's go with a dark color and lighter color combination so i'm choosing this violet and this yellow color combination to work with and we'll use some other helping colors as well so guys when you have a swatch like this with you regardless of the medium like in your alcohol markers or watercolors your swatch card is really beneficial to understand the color scheme beforehand firstly i shall begin with the skin tone and the facial details now usually i love working with pencil colors over any base uh, be the base i created with markers or watercolors but pencil colors is a must for me for working towards the end to create the final detail now with markers also guys you can uh, choose two colors one in light and one in dark to blend them together you can either start with the lighter color and then uh, give the darker portion with the darker marker or you can first create the darker shadow and take the lighter color and blend over it so you can do it both ways at the end uh, the colors uh, should look like they are blending together now i was facing little difficulty to blend these two colors together and i feel the colors also dries very soon so you have to work a uh, little fast when you are uh, blending your colors because these are alcohol based markers and alcohol will dry uh, very soon so you have to blend them and uh, you have to work really fast when you're blending if it dries there is no going back the second thing which i felt is that these markers are a great medium to cover the portion really quick and uh, here again you can see on this dupatta 
i'm trying to blend uh, two shades of yellow together and you can create your highlights and shadows and folds this way by choosing a color family and a darker color and lighter color of that color family so same here again guys i'm showing you that you can choose this light color and dark color of this uh, pinkish uh, colors and i have taken a lighter color and using a darker color creating a little shadow and you can do it in the reverse manner also first take the darker color and uh, layer it with the lighter color so it will create the similar type of effect only and here you can see guys that it's a fast medium which i said already and uh, it's a quick medium you're going to finish your illustration really quick if you are using it as a base unlike uh, watercolors or poster colors which is bit slow but again the effect of this mediums are different so every medium i think uh, their look will come out different and the techniques which you are using all depends on your style of your work and the methods which you are using again there is a good range of grays in the palette so grays are for your shadow and the amount of gray depends on the saturation of the color or the intensity of the color like you can use the black directly for very darker colors but if your color is light you can use a softer gray to create the shadow same i'm trying to create in the hair and uh, doing the base with the gray and the final uh, hair effect with the black so that way you can combine those uh, gray colors in your uh, overall work to show the amount of the depth of the shadow basically so yes guys as i said already that i love adding the final shading and highlights with the pencil colors so here i'm doing the same with uh, the pencil colors and you can learn this technique in more uh, clear manner i will be posting the tutorial down in the description box you can check that out to understand how i uh, do this uh, style of mine using pencil colors and uh, markers or watercolor base for the skin and the face and lastly the pencil colors can also be used over your garment where i have done the base with the pencil color and i'm using the marker to blend so the alcohol marker pigment will also blend your pencil colors slightly i have tried this with the stedler luna and the polychromos so here is the finished work by the markers guys you can see the overall effect and the paper which i had used here was 250 gsm in 25 percent cotton and cold pressed so yeah do check the description again for the material details as well i will be making a part two of uh, this illustration where we will understand about the embroidery details do subscribe if you are new to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified i shall see you all very soon keep illustrating take care bye bye